Well, he's not going to have to get wide because he's got enough lead to keep it, to just uh, keep the gap going. But Rosberg is really charging. But the Azure has got just about enough air to keep that gap for the rest of the lap. But uh, what an exciting finish of the Grand Prix. Rosberg is imperceptibly closing. Any minute now, Rosberg, oh, and Rosberg coming in fast into the corner. He's giving it everything. And now, if Rosberg is close enough, he'll be beginning to feel the effect of the toe from De Angelis' car. He is, in fact, close enough. And now, Rosberg's in position just about to have a go. He is going to be able to catch him before the end of the lap. Fantastic finish. Well, let's see. Rosberg right with De Angelis now. One of these two is going to win the Austrian Grand Prix. They go into the Bosch curve for the last time. I can tell you that the whole Lotus team and the whole Williams team are crowding the pit rails. It's going to be one of the closest Grand Prix finishes for a long, long time. Into the Texaco bend, 140 miles an hour. On the left, the Angelus leading, on the right, Rosberg second. Well, Rosberg's only chance is a do-or-die uh, manoeuvre into the last corner, and he's coming out quicker through there. He's getting the toe. Can he get inside now? The Angelus taking the inside line. Rosberg getting the toe. Rosberg should try the outside. Oh, it's fantastic stuff. The Angelus kept him well blocked. That's very excusable on the last lap. But Rosberg's coming at him. He's going to finish side by side. And the Angelus has just held it. Up goes Elio De Angelis' hand. And the young Roman has won his first Grand Prix. And he has put the hard-trying John Clare special Lotus team back into contention again.